Okay, cool. So we're live here. We've been live on Facebook. Mm -hmm. and, and can read them all. <laughs> they're kind of small. Yeah. All right, then that shot we could move slightly over here. Yeah, I think so. This could be. Oh, um, are you just under the bark or on my Facebook just, page? Yeah, just under the bark. No, no, on Facebook. Oh. Mm. We haven't gone live on the channel really. Right. So, so we... Yeah. We're on me. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, me is fine. Okay. Because okay. there's 3,600 people that potentially... Yeah. Okay, so we are live on both. Let's see who's on. All right, Jesse, Rod, Felix, welcome, welcome. And on Facebook, we've got one person coming. We're gonna uh, hang for a little bit. Hey, Randy. Um, uh, also let you know what we're doing. Uh, this is going to be like a major pour. So if I mess this up, <laughs> there's going to be thousands of dollars. Uh, hey Chester. Hey Daniel. Good to see you guys. Um, this is this video is probably gonna take 45 minutes just to give you guys a, a heads up. That's my guesstimate. Um, and let me tell you what we have done so far. Uh, so this is a six foot diameter coffee table. It's all coffee. Well, no, it's not all coffee, but let me show you, share the secret. If you didn't tune in yesterday, you missed the secret. And, hey, my friend, look at that. All clean. I like it. I like it. Um, so, uh, a couple of days ago, we made the form. We poured an eighth of an inch of epoxy, just epoxy, on the form itself. Then we made this big cookie. This big cookie is about two and a half, two and three quarters of an inch thick. But in the center of it is um, a foam core. It's high density foam uh, that we drilled a whole bunch of holes in so that when we do this major pour, it goes through the holes into the bottom, which is actually the top. And once it won't absorb any more epoxy, that means that we are full. In theory, <laughs> only after we demold it will we find out if we uh, if the theory is correct. So um, I just wanted to let you guys in on what we do almost every day, and I enjoy what I do. So uh, just sharing it. Hey, Ginger. Hey, Justin. Um, uh, you two, you on YouTube. <laughs> uh, I'm also live on Facebook on my uh, my page, uh, Greg Dahl, the Girl Hunter. And uh, so we're streaming live two different places. Woohoo! <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pouring... I'm going to just be doing two of these at a time. Uh, so I got to get my gloves on. After I get my gloves on, then we'll get this stuff off. And I've turned the heat down so it's not quite 80 degrees in here. You should have seen Andre's yesterday just sweat dripping off. Yeah, his forehead, and he's got a big forehead. <laughs> he's just like me. <laughs> We're both losing hair up top. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, 
Thank you. And actually, I just discovered these uh, these gloves at Harbor Freight. Um, Let me see. They. Of course, there's a backwards on. Yeah. Some of these. Well, that shouldn't be. You know. Uh, they they come up a lot higher than the other ones, so I like it. And uh, also, the screens are about eight feet away, so it's really hard for me to see your questions. Every now and then I'll come over there and, and take a look. Uh, but we are gonna start off with two gallons. Okay, so we need four gallons. Oh, you've already got them. Yeah, I got these are, I'll move these. Yeah, I'll always the use ones. Always be careful, whatever bucket you're using, if you pick it up off the floor and put it on your project, you're probably going to be bringing stuff. Um, also, I do not recommend mixing on your project. So, because of that, we are going to put this. Because just imagine if you spilt A or B on your project. Uh, that would be pretty catastrophic, or could be. Yeah, because it's not going to cure. Not going no, to cure. I'm going to I'm going to pour my A first. Uh, I know Mike says uh, do your B first. However, I want to get most of this out of here, and then let since it's so thick, it needs to. Get all the way to the top so that I can get it out. It's ah, I messed up because I didn't get my other glove on. <laughs> So we're going to set that upside down so it. Uh, I can open it up after I get the, the B out. Use with these old. Yeah, that's nice. It actually holds. It actually show them that. That's a that's a good little yeah. tip there. Now mixing. Uh, think, well, let me put it over here. So just the bucket at the bottom really helps. It's just the one that we normally do the mixing in. Uh, one one gallon. Uh -huh. And then that just sits nicely and it all runs down to the bottom. So, right down, right down. And uh, the warmer the epoxy is, the more the easier it flows. So, we had it about 80 degrees in here uh, last night. So, these are flowing well. <laughs> yeah, Justin. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, especially if you love a Minnesota. <laughs> it really sounds good. <coughs> All right, so this, whew, that's a lot. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. This one, uh, B is a lot thinner than A. But I'm going to start mixing this and then and also with this kind of uh, material, you don't want to introduce bubbles to your epoxy. Oh, is this going? Yeah, this is a lot to mix. <laughs> I'm gonna mix this for about um, about six minutes, uh, and I know that this grill is obnoxious. Uh, just turn your volume down for a little bit.
coffee cookies. <laughs> yeah. Another uh, another tip, um, whether you're doing a project this size or a lot smaller, and it has strata in it and it's porous, uh, since this mold is at 80 degrees and and the epoxy is uh, also warm, that'll allow it to flow all the way to the bottom uh, quicker. Normally, you would not pour uh, two and a half inches of epoxy also, uh, or it'll crack. I mean, if, if you use uh, Mike's um, Supercast, you can do that, but I'm just using regular epoxy, uh, countertop epoxy. So this isn't recommended for deep pours. However, with all of the beans in there, it's not a, a deep pour. It is um, a whole bunch of small fragments of epoxy. We should get a big cuisine art. Pour in the bowl and you know the, the mixer. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was wondering. Yeah, the baking mixer. But even those French mixers, if you could pick up one of that motion, you know, it's you need a shaker. No, the one yeah, one of those, yeah, that's why they have the But then they have a mixer too. They take them out. Yeah. Yeah, they take them and they just underneath there. Yeah. Um, they have a. Um, you want to pour the grab the rest? Yeah, yeah, that was that was the Um, 
how high over the beans will I pour? Um, probably just surface level. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try and conserve on beans because this right here is the bottom of the table, so it doesn't have to have that. Here's the first, the first of many. Ready? Booyah! So you're gonna go ahead and mix another batch? Uh -huh. Okay. Anytime you scrape your bucket, you want to make sure that you try and mix it in with the rest. Also, you never know. Even if you mix it for a long time. Now I'm not going to spread this out. I am going to let it do its own thing. Um, and then that way we can gauge if you, if you miss an area just by spreading it out, um, that's a bummer. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to be able to mix on it because we're going to put this tray on. Oh, no, it's fine. We, you can just mix the second batch right there. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Um, also, we got 10 people watching on Facebook. We've got four people wa watching on YouTube. So if you guys could, as a favor, would you please share this link? Um, because uh, we're sharing some cool secrets that's just going to help you guys, your creative juices, uh, start flowing. Uh, even more. Uh, you know how uh, I was just uh, taught, had a conversation with my dad uh, the other day, and I'm going like the reason why technology is soaring, meaning uh, it is going so fast exponentially, is because there are so many ideas out there. And so one idea leads to another idea, which leads to another idea. So it's. Uh, Okay, here, here's uh, my old life of a uh, landscape contractor. So anybody know about aphids? Uh, aphids are a bug. They have a proboscis, which is just like what mosquitoes have that stick into your skin. The, they're proboscis. Except they stick their proboscis in the bottom side of a leaf. And, but when uh, aphid is born... It actually has four generations inside of it, meaning it's, it's a, it does a telescopic birth, uh, which is one aphid is pregnant with an aphid, which is pregnant with an aphid, which is pregnant with an aphid, <laughs> calling telescopic birth. That's why they can propagate so stinking fast. And up in Anchorage, that was a major problem. Uh, was aphids, but that that gross detail just to have an analogy of <laughs> telescopic ideas, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, we squeezed the heck out of that thing. Yeah, and that's, that's like, yeah, that's just that. No, don't keep it. Yeah, no, we're going to have to. I'll just need it run down. Yeah, I think so. Um, so you can tell, oh, I love it. Right here, uh, there's, that's one of my holes. Right here, it's one of my holes right there, right there, right here, right here. So it's it's finding those holes and it's going down into uh, the uh, the top of the bottom of the yeah. Mm -hmm. So There we go. Oh yeah, it's drinking, drinking, drinking. And all right. I'm gonna let it. Uh, I'm gonna heat it up a little bit, not to really to pop the bubbles, but. Uh, once you heat it up, it flows a lot better too. Plus it makes it smell more like coffee. Yeah. So we're mixing the second batch over here. Um, so this will be a total of uh, four gallons. Before you leave it, I need to wipe this because this is all just one, you know, it's a bit of this. Oh. So, yeah, I don't know what you guys want me to do. Way better for well, it, it is a video thing, so thanks, Jim. Thanks, Linda. And then also, here, Allison. Hey, Allison, how you doing? Right on, AJ. What are you doing? Well, let me tell you, AJ. Um, we are making a coffee table. And it's out of coffee beans. And it's going to end up being about two and three quarter inch thick. Um, and six, six foot diameter. 
So it's uh, it's going to be a big one. We have an order for eight of them, uh, and then one eight footer, which is crazy. Uh, but if you, I uh, I understand if you guys want to have a better picture, um, go over to YouTube. Uh, on, uh, you can type in Oregon Burls or Just Under the Bar or um, The Burl Hunter because it's all three names are in our channel. Uh, and you'll see a better picture, uh, probably better sound. Um, I can see your questions because on Facebook we've got small print, on uh, YouTube we've got larger print. So. So now, this might be a good one for the liquor bro. Actually, that's a great idea. Yeah, we just ran out of juice. Okay, okay. and you said you got another better? Yeah, it's over there by Joe. Okay. Or I can go get it if you want. Uh, so there. Cool. However, if they are, if they can all stand up. Uh, yeah. Then I'm gonna go put this on the charger. Yeah, not this one. Oh, this this should be. Uh, yeah, keep keep using. Yeah. soaking it in which means that it's going through the beans right mm -hmm. which is good yeah after after this we're probably going to clamp down so I, I because there's a lot of buoyancy in there yeah so we need to uh yeah one of those uh big long blocks that we have tyvek tape okay yeah get those Thing about using uh, uh, one thing about using uh, foam core, it has lots of flotation to it. So even though it's stuck to the side and possibly the bottom, uh, we're going to take a precautionary measure and put a board right there in the center. 
that has Tyvek tape on it and then clamp it down. So the last thing we want is this thing to start bowing because that's what happened with the other one and uh, no fun, no bueno, no good, no happiness. Yeah, we wasted probably about three gallons of epoxy, maybe four gallons getting it flat again and we have to do the process over. So, um, Allison, I hope really soon, but probably not for another month, I would say. Um, but as far as I go is, um, let's see, uh, Magna. I, I go into Magna, load up, and then come back. Or up to Logan. take these um, big clamps and then a couple more blocks, let the block from the center, block from the center, like that, okay. and then another one. We, it didn't have to be tied back, but let me see, I think we might, those will probably be the same, or maybe not. Maybe more this, this way, it's probably on this one, not the same. Oh, perfect. Yes. Okay, so right, then we'll get here. then we'll get a two by four to run across, okay. and then use those clamps to, to clamp. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's nice and thin right now because I heated it up. That means it's. It's flowing. Hmm, let me think here. I might have to go this way. I gotta just uh, remember the direction of my seam. I wanna go 90 degrees to the seam. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go this way. And I might have to rush off to uh, Mike at Stone Coat to get more material because 
I only have eight gallons uh, and eight gallons is scary. Uh, I might need more. Let's see. Question, what is the purpose of the torch? Uh, the torch, William, it does two things. It makes your epoxy flow better, uh, makes it a little bit thinner, which I really need it as thin as possible to get down. Sec but uh, the, the most reason why you use a torch is to pop the bubbles. So... Greg, does it flow like through the holes of the foam? Yes, it does. Um, I, I, I drilled holes in it so that I can, just like you're looking at the, the top of this, same at the bottom underneath the foam. So since it's so porous and I have a whole bunch of holes, my theory is, is that it's going to go through those holes and fill in uh, everything. Justin, you just say it in so less of words and so more simpler. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, popping the bubbles makes it clear also. should do five gallons at a time but uh Right 
I'm going to go through the gestures too. And then we're going to start mixing. Beautiful. Right there. So there we have our, sorry that that poll is right in front of Facebook, but it's not in front of YouTube. So if you want to go over to YouTube, you got to mix more, mix more, mix more. And that, that, that's what we'll have. Okay, let's, have a box. Oh. So we, we don't know how much we're going to mix. Both of these are the same. Okay. Uh, but yeah, let's stay with the full gallon. All right. So here we are on our sixth gallon. There we go. Yeah, these are not, uh, these came out of the other, uh, other office, so they're not as warm. Yeah. I'm loving it. Am I supposed to sing that? Is that McDonald's? In this way. Also, if you're new on Facebook on our channel, would you please, uh, if you're interested in this, um, uh, click subscribe and ring the bell so that you can be notified every time we come on. We're going to show this, uh, this project to its completion. And then we're going to make a training video about it also. You can start next to it, but keep it down at the bottom because that one mm -hmm. had too many bubbles in it. Okay, I'm going to come and answer your question. Greg, next time you pour out the entire bottle, poke a hole in the bottom of the bottle, flows out better. I like it, Jim. Thank you so much. Thanks, Allison. That's cool. You're awesome. Josie. Yep, Josie in the house.
You know, it'd be nice to have a free heater for this stuff. Yeah. Like, um, like a blanket that goes around it. Just warms it up. Or just like a Insta Plus. Yeah. So flip, flip. You're ready. Keep it ready for the board. Good room. Yeah. 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 channel out because it's a, it's a better picture. Hey Kurt, so the foam is a filler per se. Yes it is. Also a table this large if it was just even if you used MDF or plywood for core um, it would uh, it would still be crazy heavy. Uh, we did uh, we did a 44 incher one like this and it was might as well start on the another, another one. Oh, we uh, yeah, put all that shootsies. One of these. Yeah, the leftovers, and then uh, two new ones for sure. Okay. All right. Um. So let me uh, regain my thoughts of answering your question. Um. Yeah, uh, so that 44 inch table was over 100 pounds, uh, which, which you can imagine what a six foot diameter one would be. And um, so, uh, so we had to come up with a solution for it, which is a stone, uh, or a, which is a high density foam. It it has it adds some structure to it, but Really, when this epoxy solidifies and a half inch on both sides, you got a half inch of beans on the top, half inch of beans on the bottom, and the epoxy is at all different angles, it, it is actually very, very structurally sound. Um, and the six foot table ends up being about 100 pounds. So, uh, oh, and he, he did say poke a hole in the bottom, and it'll just. Uh, we've got, uh, I'll get you a. Because uh, that gives us some candy. Bring it yeah. Oh, sorry. You minimize all those using the. Yeah. Um, Yeah, and you have to use a drill. Um, and here's here's the deal. Let me let me show you the two that we have. So we have we have these two right here. The red one is way better than this one. This one introduces a lot of air, and even though the uh, the epoxy level is about right here, which is pretty far down. Uh, this still introduces more air than this one. I can keep it relatively clear with this red one. And so 
it works better. Time to torch. So what this tells me, it's pulling up really good in the center. Uh, so what this tells me is the center all the way at the bottom is uh, filling up also. So we're going to start moving out towards the edges. Again, we've got 45 minute working time on this. <coughs> you remembering how many gallons now? So you're, down to eight. you're up to eight. Eight. After you're done with that. Yeah, we're, we're going to have, well, as we finish one, we're going to deliver it. So we don't have to store them for sure. But yes, um, I am in the middle of the permit process for uh, getting a, a building a, another shop so that uh, we can pour four of these at a time. If we can order for 25 or 100 of them, uh, then we can, we can facilitate that. Right now, we're setting up today to actually do two at a time, and that's that's pretty decent. Every four days, uh, turning out one of these tables. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, that's uh, thanks, William, for sure. I know because if you mix too much of this, uh, there's a there's a good chance that you won't get it all for sure, and then introduce a whole bunch of bubbles to it. Um, I'm gonna another another thing. I have access to, access to it. Many of you guys know this, but uh, if we were to mix the two gallons, then throw it in a vacuum pulls all the air out, then pour it. That is probably the ticket. We just need to get a, a couple of these made so that we can go that route. And that whole thing reworked, it's a good. This can't turn with. If I'm saying that back the other way, but that's the end. No, I'm sorry.
Did you pour the bean first or the add the bean first? Okay, that's right. Okay. You prefer it the other way then? No, 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 no. Um, that's the bean. Yeah, let's do it the bean way. Well, whenever you're trying to measure, yeah. if you put the bean first, uh, then it stays level as you're pouring in the A, which is thicker. Yeah. It stays level so you can see your marks better. But it's, well, I don't know. I don't know what my theory is, but maybe it's, 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 maybe it's the chemical side of it. Hey, Mike, if you're if you're watching, why do you put the B first? Yeah, man, YouTube's steam pump is way there. Oh yeah, good shit. Do you, want, do you want me to run this while you guys? Yeah. Oh, we've got some. We've got some. Yeah, that's all right. We'll tell you. Um, yeah, Jim. Um, but if you, either way, you're going to have that heavy mix and that thick mix, uh, except the thick, the thick mix would be at the bottom. Where you want to keep your mixer, so I'm. Uh, I think it's a it's a toss up, but uh, yeah, because that that's that's what I thought also, and probably uh, you're right. I'm just wondering if you get better results with one versus the other. I mean, if you're if you're literally doing the whole bottle. Another thing is on uh, big projects like this, um, you have to be level. You have to have to be level, uh, or you'll you'll find uh, too much on one side, <laughs> and that will be a bummer. Okay, I'll go get another one. I'm not going to hit it again because that just kicks it there. Yeah, you still got some, you see those swirls. Yeah. Ah, but you know, if you try to do it and then stop, start, like it works. Yeah. So, Greg, just take this one. Greg, hang on.
so far. So just today we're on our eighth gallon and we had to make the cookie was one gallon. So we're at nine gallons right now. But Right 
and get another some more cases yeah. as we are down to our last you can start mixing that and mix everything else we have left too all the things that have been just making sure we keep an even amount of a and b yeah um, you can mix it if you have What's the average coat for a gallon? Uh, actually, average. I don't ever deal in averages. It's always big. <laughs> so I can't answer that question. But, uh, but yeah, we're keeping track. We're trying to make a recipe uh, for this uh, so that if anybody is crazy enough to do this, um, you too can do it and, and uh, hopefully not make the mistakes that we've made uh, but I uh, I hope everybody learns from my mistakes and please share your mistakes so that I can learn from it also <laughs> cost per gallon cost per gallon um, $80 uh, if you buy the one gallon kit it's 190 I mean the two gallon kit that's 190 bucks so yeah sorry sorry Bob I misread that um, average cost per gallon is $80 so somebody do the math I don't want to do the math because I'll I'll go into shock. Okay, I'm gonna come and mix mix away. This is this is just the yeah. Uh, this is just the B. Just the B. Okay. Put the A in. This takes a, a while getting through, but that hole definitely helps and breathe. Let's see if I mixed it or met, missed any questions. All right, we're at one hour and 10 minutes, and I need, I bet you, at least four more gallons. So I'm going to, uh, probably going to say goodbye so I can run the stone coat and come right back uh, and finish this project because we have a 45-minute working time. 45 minutes. And then I'll mix this one and then mix the others and 
then you pour it on there. I'll need to pour it on there, right? Mm -hmm. Before you can go to the back and scrub it. This is all the stuff on this. Because these are even, you're concerned about some. Oh, you're gonna mix those in the small one, right? Yes, we well, we sure do. So if you put your order in right now, I'll pick it up because we just used our whole stock. Yeah. 
Is this, the, this is maybe the A fluid? Yep. So we're going to have to mix those. Okay, so, so that's evenly mixed there, right? Mm -hmm. And the other half of this now is the one that you were using? Right up there. Okay, okay. Justin, except you gotta pay for it up the up the you know wazoo. So that's the that's the bummer thing. Well, you gotta pay for anything you want, but except love. Love is all you need. Okay, yeah, that's that's all I can find there. There's just a few that have very little in it. Okay, so you you have a B and an A. No, I just have that. I just had half a gallon of, of uh, B. Just had. So this one's empty. This is the one that was. So what that about that fall? I think it was the mate to that one. Right. What did I do with it? We got a real yeah, one. Here we go. Here we go. Here there we go. go. Okay, so I'm going to leave this up to you. Mix it slow, mix it a lot, okay. and I'm going to zip over to Mike's and get some more. All right. So, William, if you want some, let me know. Here we go. I wish I made the big bucks. You'd be surprised at, <laughs> at my paycheck. Uh, most of it's a labor of love. Come on, come on, come on. I 
didn't know you were kidding. Yeah. He's supposed to wait in a second. So. Uh, can't be my way. It can't be my way. They change my way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Keith told you that, right? No, no, I, I did just no, If they look even, but I wasn't. Yeah, they're way different. If they look even, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, this is one to one, not a, not a weight ratio. Actually, it's a little bit more. Oh, that would be just. That'll work. And there's two classes in here. So this one. Uh, okay, yeah. We need to pick that up. But I'm out of here before I start mixing that because then I have a time restraint on that one. All right, and now after you're done, you can just uh, end live. And okay. And you want me? You want to grab me the two gallon, if you would, please. Okay, William, I will do that. <laughs> See you guys. I'll be right back. But we probably won't go live. We're just going to finish the project. Bless you. See you at 1 o'clock on YouTube. Could you hand me that, that bag right there? Man, that handle's sticky. <laughs> yeah, I tried. I tried to not have it, but it's. Mm -hmm. it's uh, I like it. Mm -hmm.
we have a, a electrical plug in there? No. Yeah, we, that's what we need to do is make a, a bit of a jig for this. So is the torch all sticky too? Yeah. I don't know, maybe. Uh, but get gloves. some cloth if you want to. I get some gloves. Yeah. Stop it, got a white spot. 
Does it stop it? Yeah. It's like, it's white. It's uh, like a bean or something like that. And it's solid white. Yeah. There's more bubbles of this in there. Oh, well, they're going to pour their way yeah. out percolating. But the more you heat it, the more bubbles you get out too. So you got to you gotta torch it, let it sit. And you got to torch it, let it sit. You just keep torching it. It's going to keep bubbling. This is just a fact to you that you still need some. Um, I don't know what you have to do or not. But it's a person who has a sort of milky. You don't want to try and get it as flat as possible, so you're not creating a bubble. Going off, we're going to be going offline now. <laughs> 